Do you like mysteries and horror? Well, do I have the book for you. Jackal by Aaron E. Adams. This book was fantastic. It kept me guessing and oh man, it was such an addictive read. I couldn't stop reading it. I read it like two days. It's just over about 300 pages and it's the story of this town, Johnstown, Pennsylvania. There's a lot of underlying currents of racism and now you know some overlying currents of racism too. The whole premise in this book is that over the years, all these little black girls have disappeared and been horribly murdered and had their hearts cut out and it's been kind of buried for years. Liz Roche, she's the main character, returns to town. She has somewhat of a connection to one of the girls that went missing years ago that was named Keisha that she just has like missing memories of what happened that night because Keisha was taken instead of her. The reason all this gets brought back up again, she wasn't going to return to this town. She didn't want to, but her best friend Mel is getting married. So she's coming home for two days only. She's gonna be in the wedding and go and see her best friend. She's gonna try to have a good time. And so she gets there. It goes okay, you know, she sees her mom. She hasn't seen her mom in a long time. And some of these people that she grew up with and went to high school with and the parents of the bride, they're a little rough around the edges and you kind of like see a little bit of like a hint of that racism. And there's a bit of the backstory that goes into that too. Like, this Mel is white and she's marrying a black man. They have a kid and their daughter, her name is Caroline. Just a sweet little girl who loves to draw. She's all dressed in a sparkly white dress at the wedding. And unfortunately, as the wedding happens, her and some other kids are out playing and they're throwing these lit up candles and throwing them into the woods and going to get them and chasing them and getting them back. And Liz goes to grab a beverage real quick. And when she comes back, Caroline's missing. And then she sees a light in the woods. And she's, you know, yelling and goes and tries to see if she's there. And there's no one there. But she feels like something's watching her. But she's felt like this about the woods for a long time. And there's all these stories about the woods. About, like, if you see a man of shadows. No, you didn't. Don't look. Because if you look, it becomes real. And all these weird kind of stories that you hear. It's kind of almost like creating, like, an egregore or a tulpa. If you think it exists, it, it you bring it into existence. So don't think about it. Don't look at it. So the little girl disappears at the wedding. As Liz starts to dig into this, she makes a connection of all these other little black girls that have disappeared over the years. I mean, it, it kept me guessing. I was super wrong about who I thought the perpetrator was going to be. It was intense and then there's also like a supernatural element a bit to it with like the story of the thing of shadows how did liz get away because she was there on the night that one of those other girls disappeared something bitter and she has a scar on her arm from that night she was like hiding and one of the other girls was taken and it turns out that only one girl per summer is taken and it's around the same time of the year around the summer solstice it's really strange and as Liz makes all these connections and she kind of contacts some of the mothers of the other girls like this has been happening I think it's over like 30 years and trying to put everything together and trying to save the little girl if she's still alive shining a spotlight on how when little black girls disappear they don't get the attention of what would happen if a little white kid disappeared and it's true and you can say it's not but it's true the little girl who disappears she's half black half white they make a full-on search they bring in search and rescue they have dogs and they're trying to find her but as each day progresses you know it, the chances of survival are less and less and it's sad and it's heartbreaking confrontational and especially with accusations that maybe aren't accusing the right people, but you don't know and trying to figure out who to trust. The writing was fantastic. It pulls you into the story and into the setting. It opens your heart and your mind. I really liked the characters. I liked the mystery of it all, like what was happening, what was going on, who was behind it. Is it people? Is it a supernatural entity? Is it some kind of weird cultish worship thing? Why are the hearts missing? What is going on? I don't know if this author has any other books? I think this might be a debut novel. It doesn't say. Erin Adams, guys. Jackal. It's fan 
freaking-tastic. If you're looking for a story that is horror and a mystery that keeps you guessing till the end, just flows really well, that keeps you up late at night because you can't stop reading and you have to know what's happening and what's going on and who do you trust, who do you turn to, Jackal by Aaron E. Adams. If you're a fan of scary books, the next video coming up will be another scary book, so stick around, check it out, and if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.